are welcome to Abrahamic Mission. Today we'll be discussing religion and hygiene. And to join me and discuss the topic today is our own chairman of FCT Christian Association of Nigeria, who is also uh, one of our leaders in uh, Equa Church. He is the one in charge of our uh, Equa Good News Church at Minister's Hill here in Abuja. Join me, join me in welcoming Dr. Samson Juna, Chairman of FCT Khan. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Incidentally, it's a combination of two chairmen. We also have the chairman of Council of FCT Imams and Scholars. He's also the chief imam of Usei Community Mosque here in Abuja. Imam Dr. Tajudin Arikun, you are welcome. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Incidentally, the two of us, the two of them, mm -hmm. are, are doctors. <coughs> Only me, for what I mean, that is not. <laughs> uh, the two of them are chairmen. Uh, and Professors are bigger than doctors. <laughs> they are. They are. So we thank you they for are. being part of the program. But before we go, we will be discussing religions and hygiene, which you know is very, very germane to mm. us now as a nation and as humanity. Mm. But before we go on, let's read some of the messages we've recently received. Somebody writes, my name is Abdulwasi Mujib from Ede Ocean State. I like the program because of Muslim and Christian to participate because we are the same religion. And Amara said, the program is educative. Please keep it up. It may a cane from Aqua Ibom states. Uh, this man writes, hey, in fact, this is the best program that we build up to become one Nigerians from Para Maitala. So he also said there is, there is a need to introduce this program to our various states and local government areas. He said, Johanna JP. This one says, your topic today is wonderful. That there is religious hypocrisy in the land <laughs> and everywhere. One is self-centered. We are not worshipping God the way we should. Boko Haram said, Western education is sin. It is not Islam that says so. An evil man is an evil man. Pastor, and so I can see you want to say something. You, because we are religious hypocrisy. Somebody in the last uh, one of our episodes, somebody described people who say something on air or in a program as if they are good man. When they get back, they do something else. You now describe them as religious, hypocritic people. So, and that is why he, the man who writes this mm -hmm. says that even those who are saying Boko Haram is a sin, he said. They are on their own, they are criminals, and they are not. Incidentally, the person writing is a pastor. Hmm. Another man writes, Samuel from Bauchi State. He said, We are happy seeing this program happening. May God help you to take it to the greater eye. May the way Reverend Isaac and Imam Sheffield peacefully, live peacefully on one table be applicable to all Nigerians, hmm. both small and big men. I don't know whether you know what he's saying. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you saw the our last episode, there is uh, Imam Shafiu and Pastor uh, uh, Samuel, is it Pastor Samuel we came with? Reverend Isaac, mm. we were together in the program and it was also, as usual, mm -hmm. uh, cordial and very understanding. So he's simply saying, let it be translated. Exactly. Mm. They want to see that, what we see on television, that it should be come down mm. in all our towns to be replicated. So this one say, thanks for this wonderful program. Well, my fellow Christians, should be careful now than ever. The whole world is clamoring, clamoring for peace. Behold, rapture, Ogechi from Imo State. I don't think I know what this person is trying to say well. This one says, good evening. May God continue to protect Nigerians. Great program. Nigeria is in the hands of God. Honorable Ani Jude Okudili. But didn't say where he writes from. I don't want say, seriously, I love this program. Just like my favorite food. Mm. Parents in this end time have a lot to amend on their children. May Allah assist us. Zainab Audu from Portacot. Mm. We still have more. Say, peace be upon you all. I love this program. May God bless the brain behind it. I always look forward to watching it. Mrs. Anna Abuja. Another one writes, he said his name is Farhan 
Uh, incidentally, Imam will say, say Farhan from Odeomu, from Asanusia College of Education, Odeomu. Mm -hmm. He said, what will be the role of most of parents now that, he said, what will be the parents now that uh, social media has taken over? How do they control their homes? I don't know how you heard. Yeah. He says his name is Farhan from Model Moon from Mashamia yeah, What question. should be the role of parents now because social media has taken over? Briefly. Before we well, uh, basically, as parents, what we need to do is um, to ensure that we, 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 we pay more attention. You know, we live in an age where people are so busy with other activities and we give little concentration or less concentration to our children. And uh, you see, we need to spend time with them. Not only spending time with them, when they come back from their schools, you need to find out, you know, some of the things they come back with. Mm -hmm. So don't find yourself as a father or mother so busy outside that you have no time left to attend to these children. Because whatever you are struggling for tomorrow, they will be the one to inherit it. So if they don't have good moral or the discipline, you know, I mean, whatever struggle you might have done, they may waste it. So, while you struggle outside, there should be time for you to be with your children, discipline them, inculcate good ideas to them, train them, so that tomorrow you'll be proud, you'll be proud about them. Well, it, it is the same thing, really. Uh, we must create time for them. Yes. Parents must endeavor to program their programs, and they should give priority to these children who are going to be the ambassadors now and after. The Quran emphasizes on the role of parents much more than the way parents are relating with their children. Allah says, Allah says, all you who believe, save yourself and your children, your family, from the penalty and the punishment of God by abiding with his laws and principles. Why do you not do that to your children? and you are accumulating wealth for them, that wealth is going to be another source of your punishment. Mm -hmm. So people should make their children to be ideal. Don't worry about the issue of finance. God is going to finance them as he has financed you. Yeah. It's not out of your making. Today people are criminals because they want to accumulate wealth for, well, their, for their children. And they are making money. After all this children you are seeing, at the end of the day, they became criminals. Of course. Even your presence. Some are even colliving and killing their parents so as to accumulate mm. themselves. God will. So we should be very careful. Because he was. Yeah. <clears throat> the way people look at birthday may not be the way actually it should be looked uh, at. When you are now 50, you are 60, you should reflect more of what have you presented? What are you planning to achieve in life? Have you really achieved it? It's not much of coming down to dance in public. Is more of reflecting Reflection. on the life you have lived. Exactly. And that's why Prophet Muhammad Sallam used to fast on Mondays. He was giving birth to a Monday. Okay. So that is the way he celebrates his of own course, birthday. Of course, of course. And that, that is how it's supposed to be. Not sitting down to be cutting mm. cakes of your height mm. at the age of 78 <laughs> and 90. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, 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 I want to support the same thing because, you know, when we talk about celebration, to me, it should be a moment of reflection to see God's goodness upon your life, to see the journey of life, to be able to cast back and re-examine yourself, see those mistakes you've made, and see how you can avoid repeating them. So while you celebrate, it's just like a total re-examination of yourself and also seeing how faithful and merciful God has been to you. So you can celebrate by thanking him, you can celebrate by praying and fasting, rejoicing because God has kept you. The essence of prayer and fasting is to keep you focused. So, yes, we need to rejoice, but while we rejoice, let's not forget that. Look, we don't, we don't, we, 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 let's not forget God. We did not find ourselves where we are. It and is somewhere God about. Himself is the source of life mm. and has brought you thus far. I I was in Lokoja recently. I hope the person will be hearing me. <laughs> he said, he's a pastor, mm. that about three, four years ago, he turned 50. He has forgotten. He said it was when he woke up, his children woke him up. He said he cried throughout that day. Mm. That does it mean he's going with this? Mm -mm. That he has reached this. His children that one reminding him, meaning that as he failed, 
as he passed in the journey of life, mm. he said throughout that day, he decided to turn into fasting and not leaving his bed mm -hmm. and to be thanking God, praising God, and reflecting on what he has been doing. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the two of you are saying. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm going. We people are beginning to actually appreciate this. Mm -hmm. That is not by celebration. That everything mm -hmm. that we do, that you do, but it is by ultimately uh, and reflecting. Ultimately, sir, life is a gift. Hmm. So if you see it as a gift, who is the giver? God. 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 Right. So you thank Him. Okay. Thank you so much. I, I did want to read two or three more messages before we go on. Did you want to say salam, sir? He said, Abrahamic vision is actually a life changing program. It is a dynamic to human endeavor, and it that is every human to rethink. He said, His name is Muhammad Sule from Taraba State. We thank you. This one said, I'm John Sunday Nwafo, residing in Wari. He said, This program serves like an eye opener between the Christian and the Muslim. Showing that we serve the same God, but in different doctrine. Uh, we see how a lot of these messages. This one say this program is very educative. Please keep it up for peace in this nation. From Chica Cosmas or better from Onisha. Mm -hmm. I will take this one. Uh, is it Ajima Godwin from Cross River State, Calabar? We are enjoying this program with my entire family. The issue of Boko Haram in Nigeria. They should allow the Christian and Muslims to marry themselves. They should make it compulsory and they won't be fight again. That's that's my own opinion. To make the marriage compulsory? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, marriage should be out of choice. <laughs> now, even if you are marrying from your tribe or your religion, you marry the choice you wish. But you say it should be compulsory. <laughs> no, I think but I don't know. It's it's passionate. It's yes, emotional. but I think uh, yeah, it's emotional. Uh -huh. Because the term they are compulsory. Uh, so. uh, this is my right, and I want to end this with this message. Uh, good evening. Good evening, our men of God. I really enjoyed and learned from this program since its inception. This means it's not just one, it's necessary. This program is very educative, informative, and entertainment. The major problem in our country today has been summarized by Pastor Isaac and Imam Abdul Karim. That was some of our previous mm. episodes. He said, today, and there's one word, I, me, and myself. Mm -hmm. He said, that is the genesis of corruption. He said, what, every, what people think now is about I, me, and myself. Selfishness. Said, that's what they are trying to say. Said, that is the answer. Said, selfishness, greedy, and religious hypocrisy, plus politics of rich people in our society today. I am Audu Yaya from Okene in Kobe State. I think with this, we will be going on a very short break before we now continue with the main topic of the day. Look, hey, enter out, go and carry your load. Uh, go and carry your load. You don't come up on town. They say one big disease, you don't enter town, okay? What do you mean the name of the disease? Don't uh, remember us, okay? They say big disease, eh? If they fly to our head like this, we're like, we see. What do you mean, big bag? You don't make me get August, stop palm now. Corona, not the fly like witch. And running away, not go solve the problem. What is the solution, Abby? Good question. Federal Ministry of Health, don't join hands with Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Say, if we follow some very simple instructions, we go prevent the spread of this coronavirus. Anytime when you sneeze or cough, cover your nose and your mouth with your hand. Wash your hand regularly with soap or any hand sanitizer will contain alcohol. Avoid crowded places, but if you must go where people day, make sure say you wear your face mask. Make sure say you boil your meat well well. Make it done. Avoid places when animals day. But if you must go where animals day, wear your face mask and your hand gloves. Any face mask or hand glove where you don't use, make sure so you throw them properly. Make somebody else not go see them use. Those of you when they spit for public anyhow, make you they spit like that because that can anyhow spit if we spread the disease. Make you not eat all those animals like rats, bats, snake, monkey, and any animal when die of sickness. Make una drink plenty of water because plenty of water they help. Make una not spread fake news. Make una not share false information. Make una not cause unnecessary panic. Because Ebola come this country. All of us join hands. We push and enter corner. So this coronavirus, if all of us join hands, we go also push and enter corner. If you are just joining us, this is Abrahamic Mission. And my name is Imam Fawad Adeyemi. And today we are discussing religion and hygiene. 
And joining me in the studio once again is uh, Dr. Samson Juno, Chairman of FCT CAN. You are welcome. Thank you. And uh, once again, the Imam Dr. Tajuddin Adigun, who is also the Chairman of Council of Imam and Ulama in FCT. Imam, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We will be discussing IG from a religious point of view. IG, how does it, what does, does it have a meaning from you to what I just put it, IG? How will you, just on the pulpit, you want to tell people IG, what will you say in one, two sentences? IG should be neatness and uh, cleanliness. And, uh, it's as simple as that. As that? Um, Hygiene is purification, hmm? I mean, of the heart and the body and the surrounding. You know, to be neat, as rightly said by Reverend Father. Do you, you want to say something? Okay, from your religion. Okay, well, from religion. Is there any specific teaching as far as IG is concerned? Of course. <laughs> Please, teach us. We want to know. Don't, don't, don't hide anything. Mm. As much as you want to teach us, we are ready to learn. You, you see, when God created man, this body is fashioned by God. And in the book of um, <clears> Third <throat> John, chapter 1, verse 2, the Bible said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospered. That you prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospered. So this is God's desire for us. Now, do you know what? When you look at yourself physically and examine yourself, if you are not in good health and you are not healthy, worshipping God might be difficult because you might be thinking of so many things, trying to see how you can help yourself. So there are basic things God has placed in us that will help us worship Him. Well, we we'll talk about good health from the biblical point of view. There are basic things we need to do in life now. As a child of God, I don't need an angel to tell me to take bath in the morning. As a child of God, I don't need the angel to tell me to come and sweep or brush my teeth or wash my hands. All of these things, God has embedded them in us. Wisdom demands that when you rise in the morning, as you grow up, these are basic things you need to do to keep yourself clean as part of worshiping God. Now, also in Romans chapter 12, Romans say, I charge you in view of God's mercy to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God. Now, it may be talking about spirituality there as it regards worship or worshiping God. But i like us to know that this body that God has given to us is sacred. We should honor it. We should keep it clean. Because this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in us. So, if God dwells in us, yes, he is holy. Now, whatever I do with this body matters a lot. Now, how can I, the body that God has given to me, that should be kept, should be consecrated, should be kept sacred, but you find people defiling this body. Hmm. So, and we defile the body in so many ways. So the Bible talks about it in so many aspects. So, when we talk about the issue of neatness, decency, Neatness. cleanness, cleanness mm -hmm. it requires that even this body that God has given to us should, should be kept, kept clean. Thank you, Pastor. Imam. Well, <laughs> Islamic point of view. <laughs> yes, of the concept hygiene, of clean hygiene, hygiene. as we have all agreed that uh, hygiene simply means neatness, cleanness, purification. Okay. Now, uh, in Islamic teaching, there are three aspects that the Quran discusses intensively as regard to cleanness and purification: the heart itself, the body as it is, and then the cleanness of the body, the, the clothes you wear to cover the body. That is the environment itself. Of course, mm. including the clothes and everything that is around you. Okay. And Quran was very specific on it, okay. in each item. Mm -hmm. uh, when you take the issue of the the the, the body, Allah says, Ya yeah, yu aladhina amanu, mm -hmm. 
اذا قمتم الى الصلاه فاغسلوا وجوهكم وايديكم الى المرافق وامسحوا برؤوسكم وارجلكم الى الكعبين وان كنتم جنبا او مرضا او على سفر to the end of the verse okay Allah says all you who believe okay whenever you stand to pray okay and that brings about the issue of ablution mm -hmm. no muslim should attempt to go into the mosque to pray or at home without making sure that he is clean cleanness of this kind is true number one bathing yourself okay if you are juno that is when you have either a dream wet one or you have affairs with a woman you must you must bath yourself that is janaba compulsorily when you are out of that cleanness it remains going for prayers you must perform wudu that is the ablution what the verse has mentioned in chapter 5 verse 6 of surah al-maida you have to wash your hands three times raising your mouth should in case there is anything inside your nose also make sure you do not over put water so that it will not actually <laughs> go to the head and then you breathe it out okay and then you wash the face mm -hmm. from the end of the hair mm. down to the end of the face mm -hmm. to the ears you clean them three times mm -hmm. and then you wash the hand again from uh, the end tail of the hand mm -hmm. to the elbow three times the other side three times and also the head you wipe it and bring it back and then the air and then you wash the legs now scholars said because these are the most aspect of the body that is exposed mm. it is mostly okay okay mostly <laughs> it is the most of the body that is mostly because uh reverend father cannot actually hide his face now uh -uh. Yeah. and then his palms also with the suit he has put on mm -hmm. actually it was <laughs> of course so these areas need cleanness from time to time Mm -hmm. That's why the emphasis of ablution for every prayers, at least five times daily. When you perform subi, you must clean, you must do wudu. When you perform zuhur, you must do wudu. When what you is do wudu? That is the ablution. <laughs> okay. This I've just described now is called wudu. That is the ablution. Okay. okay. And then when it comes to asr, maghrib, isha, these are the five daily prayers. We don't understand prayers. what you are saying. What is asr? What this, is maghrib? These are the five prayers a Muslim must pray on daily basis. Okay. Asr and maghrib is the five. Uh, no the morning prayers mm -hmm. the afternoon mm -hmm. the evening the late uh, early night and then the late night these are the five prayers a muslim must pray on daily basis okay and these prayers must be accompanied compulsorily with no option with the ablution which means a muslim must at least wash his hand 15 times on daily basis and uh, if you are more spiritually inclined <laughs> like uh, when you are an imam you are somebody respected in religion you should make sure at all moment you have an ablution regardless of whether you am, you want to pray or you don't want to pray which means you must always be clean and when you come to the clothing itself in chapter 74 verses 1 to 4 allah called prophet muhammad mm -hmm. saying yourself the leader of mankind mm -hmm. as far as the religion is concerned that yeah are you a nabi mm -hmm. that is his name as a prophet okay Mm -hmm. Oh, you prophet, mm -hmm. command people to be good. Okay. Is that the translation of what you are Of course. Yes, that's right? the okay. Because we want to understand. Okay. Go. Uh, yeah. And then your Lord glorify. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he said, mm -hmm. Your clothes. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's always clean. Never you be dirty, whether at home or in public. That's why this command is a consensus of scholars that is compulsory is not optional mm -hmm. that you came to people while actually all your dress actually is is, 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 is dead in the name of saying that uh, you, you are a religious person as if you know what i wanted now I, okay um, uh, please let's listen to pastor okay. to please, I, I see i'm just listening to imam and, yes, thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> you know we we are, we are learning every day yes. okay. you know? but you see when you come to the bible yes. like i earlier caught it okay. romans chapter 12 mm -hmm. verse 1 mm -hmm. now the writer said there i charge you in view of god's mercy mm -hmm. to offer your bodies to the lord mm -hmm. as a living sacrifice yes so it means we are saying holy, you, are saying, you are saying the same thing. Uh, it went ahead to say holy and acceptable for this is your spiritual act of worship. Now, you see, what the Bible seems to be saying here is that, look, it emphasizes, it, it emphasizes more 
on inner purity. That is the heart where worship rises. Now, in the Old Testament time, usually people will take animals to the, to the temple on the altar and then they are slaughtered and their sacrifices are offered to the Lord God Almighty. That's in the Old Testament. Now, but the Bible is saying here, look, what God wants is purity of the heart because that's where worship rises. The heart is the seat of all intellectual capacity. Whatever you do rises from the heart. Mm -hmm. So our worship to God, my prayer to God, mm -hmm. and sacrifices is from the heart. So if the heart is not clean, mm -hmm. how would God accept my prayer? No, you don't have He will not accept my prayer. Mm -hmm. So now that doesn't mean that I should keep the heart clean and then be dirty. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. You see, common sense tells you, just like within you, you have the desire when you're hungry. You, you don't need anybody to tell you to eat. Yes. That's the same thing. You, you, you grow up with that consciousness that you need to take bath and keep yourself clean and decent. But much more than that, mm. the Bible emphasizes about spiritual decency, cleanness of the heart, because whatever I do, if it is worship, mm. if it is sacrifice mm. given, or whatever I'm doing in a church, mm rises from the storehouse okay. and that is the heart okay. yes I, I i i said in my the beginning of my uh, discussion on hygiene i said it includes mm. the heart the body itself and then the clothes i have discussed yeah. the body and i've mentioned part of the clothes the heart is emphasis is made more on it because the cleanness of the heart the cleaner of the heart actually make one to be ideal as woman that's why the quran said Yabani Adam. In fact, mm. the verse in chapter 5, which I'm quoting now, mm. verses 25, Surah mm. Al-Maida, mm. did not call Muslims. Alone. He called mankind. <laughs> because mm. the heart of mankind need to be purified. Because that's where the danger is. It's true. The arm robbers, the kidnappers, the pair robbers even in our offices, <laughs> it is the damage of the heart that makes them to be actually pair robbers. Mm. Which is more dangerous to us mm -hmm. today in the country. Of course. Now Allah addresses that in that verse I've just mentioned. He said, Ya Bani Adam, mm -hmm. look at it, the mm -hmm. son of Adam. Mm -hmm. Whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, mm -hmm. whether you are a Jew, you have been addressed. Mm -hmm. Ya Bani Adam, kad anzalna alaykum libasa yuwari sawatikum, okay. wa libasa taqwa, lalia okay. khair, lalika min ayati la ila Allah kunta dhakarun. Allah mm -hmm. says, Oh, you, the son of Adam, we have sent down for you clothes to cover your shame. That's Quran chapter 5. Yes. Quran chapter 5, verses 25. 25. Only the son of Adam, we have sent down for you clothes to cover your shame. But Levasu Takwa, but the internal cover, the internal sanitation of the heart, Khair is the best. Okay. I wanted to just pick Imam up with. Uh, question because you see even with the emphasis you've you've laid on this and also trying to help us know the rules and regulation given about washing of hands how you need to wash your face you know to yes. your forehead yes. and the legs you know before you can uh, pray pray yes the now, relationship the, my, my my thought now that if there's such much emphasis on all of this you've described yes don't you think the tendency for one to feel haven't done all of those he has satisfied the requirement. I will, I will, I will while, answer that. While, while the heart I will answer might, that. might still be Dead. not clean. Yeah. Yes. So, that, so where do we strike a balance? Very good. You see, number one in Sharia, the, the, um, the emphasis is on the heart. Okay. This outwearing, mm. one can appear like this in a criminal. Of course. So as to deceive people that look mm. religious. Mm. He can only deceive people, he cannot deceive God. Mm. But God wants him to clean the inner. And then it's a command for him to clean the outer. He shouldn't claim that, no, my inner is good, while okay. his outer is bad. Both must be actually good. Mm. If he deceives people of the outer, he cannot deceive God with the inner. Yeah, That's why Allah says, Ya ayu alladhina amunu taqu la haqqa tukati wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimu. All you who believe, mm -hmm. fear God your creator to the highest level of fear by obeying his commandment. And be submissive to him because he's aware. Mm -hmm. He knows you better than yourself. 
So it's not an excuse for one to claim that, look, my heart is clean mm. and he's doing bad. Okay. And it's not an excuse for him that the body is clean, clean. And, then uh, and then the inner one is terrible. <laughs> he must combine the two. Mm-hmm. And let me tell all the wisdom behind that. It is failing one, failing all. The win- wisdom behind the two is that mm-hmm. God the Almighty who created all of us, you cannot deceive him. At all. He takes record of everything. Mm-hmm. Now, that record is for him. Reverend Father cannot know that. You cannot know that. That is obvious. I cannot know that. Mm-hmm. The only thing you can prove to me you are good is to be good practically. Mm-hmm. If you are a pen robber and you claim that your heart is good, how can I take that? It's not possible. <laughs> you are true. deceiving yourself. Mm-hmm. So we human beings that are relating with one another, mm-hmm. you must be good. Make your appearance good. Mm-hmm. Make your words good. Mm-hmm. Make your attitude good. Mm-hmm. Make your prayers good. Make your everything good. Then we as human beings will say this person is good. Yeah. Now it's left for God the Creator to know whether what, what he has said so is practical yeah. or it's not practical. But we that's why Umar bin Khattab, let me not be <laughs> interject. <it. laughs> he said after the death of Prophet Muhammad, oh. you know, Prophet Allah is sending messages to him through Gabriel. Angel, the, uh, the Angel, Gabriel. Angel Gabriel. Yes. And he used to tell them what they don't know. He will tell them God said this and they will accept. Now, during the regime of Umar al Khattab, he said, Look, I don't receive message from God like the Prophet. Anybody who claims to be good and he misbehaves, I want to deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> that is truth. That is what man will understand. Okay. So, the reality is that we are in need of both. <laughs> so, Thank you. That's, that's so, exactly but, but, what I wanted him to hit. Yes. That so, we need both, both we need inner purity yes. and, and also. But today, we want to talk about outer purity. We have been talking of inner purity. <laughs> Only this. We look well, for, we, do you know why our mind went there? Because you see, as a pastor, yes. I should emphasize inner, inner purity, purity because yes. this is what God desires from us. No, this, yes. word, and, uh, this is what reflects the outer action. Of course. Because of the purity. Mm. But notwithstanding, mm. that inner purity is extremely important. It also depends, it will show how clean your outside is. But you can also start from outside. Perhaps it will lead you to 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 have inner purity. Mm-hmm. Wherever you are starting, mm-hmm. the two must be equal. Yeah, there are there are those who, who you may see. You think they are Christians? They will dress very fine, mm-hmm. you know, like a son of a king, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> but inside, he's rotten. He's rotten, you know. But we have been discussing. But also inside, we also find some who will wear tattered clothes. Mm-hmm. And then they go to church. You see, that does not make you holy. Mm, really? So you can see the two are important. We have also joined the wagon of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so you have so to. We, you have to. Be, you see, uh, remember, it means mm. the two are important. Oh, they are. Very, very. It's equally important. Mm. But we are talking of the second equal today, and That's that outer. is the outer hygiene. Let us. Yes, the mom said, you cannot deceive God. Of course. Mm. What is inside you, God knows and he will judge. Mm. So let us leave the inner for God to judge. Okay. The one we can do, let us do it. Start no. doing it mm. now. Okay. But before we will do that, we will go, it is after we come back from this uh, small uh, break. But you too can be part of this program because you. when we come back from the break, I want you to, be, to know what you want to say and what you want to do. Send a message to this number, 70 449 Four four nine four nine. Again zero seven zero four four nine four four nine four nine. Either a WhatsApp message or SMS, whichever. But please don't call. Now we'll come back. We'll continue after this short break. All persons arriving from China or any country that has a major outbreak is advised, if they have no symptoms at all, to self-isolate, meaning that they stay indoors in their homes for at least two weeks. And if they develop any symptoms, like cough, catarrh, sneezing, breathing difficulties within this period, to report to the nearest health facility. We're also advising all airlines to report any case of a passenger falling sick on board before the plane lands 
That is a requirement uh, in the agreement. Nigeria Port Health Services and Nigeria Center for Disease Control are on alert at our airports and other points of entry. Yeah, welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Abrahamic Mission, and the topic we are discussing is hygiene and religion. Mm -hmm. We have seen that God actually commanded us to be hygienic. God wants us to be clean. God wants us to be purified, not just in the heart, but also from the outer part of our body. Our body, our environment, and the clothes, the things which we use must be clean. Recently, there is a sickness or a disease that is ravaging the entire world. The World Health Organization declared it pandemic also recently. The meaning of pandemic is that a sickness or a, 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 an illness that is beyond just a particular region that has become global. Mm. And they declare it when it reached well around 14 countries that have been affected by coronavirus, the one they call COVID-19, as religious people. When you hear of this coronavirus in your heart what comes to your mind as a religious person is it the end of the world is it a test is it uh, a challenge or is it that god want to change things the way things have been done but before we talk i want to congratulate our pastor our reverend who just celebrated his birthday in one of the best manner that will have been done unlike the way many of the people we celebrate he sat in his own room, reflecting and thanking God. Uh, our Reverend, we pray God will spare your life Amen. to do more for humanity, and God will accept it from you. Amen. So we now go to where we are coming from. Amen. What comes to your mind when you heard of coronavirus as a religious person? Is it a test? Is it end time? Or is it that uh, rapture that the Bible uh, 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 prophesied? Well, um, I, I want to say that... Um, it's not rapture because um, if it is rapture, will have will have gone. But um, you see, God has been speaking. He has been speaking to us in so many ways, different dimensions, and um, it's such a sad one that we have an issue like this globally in our hands. So pathetic. Many lives have gone as a result of this uh, coronavirus. And the world is battling. Now, the Bible said when the end time shall come, mm. a lot of signs will be manifested. Mm. You know, there will be earthquakes, there will be wars, rumors of wars, all we see many. But you see, the end is yet to come. But to me, when we see events unfolding like this, they are warning signals that the end is around the corner. So as a religious leader, as a religious leader, to me, I think we need to be closer to God more than ever before okay. and seek the face of God in this matter because we have a serious issue at hand. Okay. The economy of the world is being shut down. Mm -hmm. You know, people no longer go from one country to the other again. Everybody seems to be scared. You Even know, the mobs are scared. And pastors. Yeah, but, 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 but we believe that. No, whatever is not scared. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but we believe that God is able. Now, let me draw attention that, look, we, we had a challenge like this years back. Okay. When we had the issue of Ebola. Ebola. Yeah. You know, it was, but do you know the way it was handled? Mm. And frankly speaking, mm. people prayed mm. for God to intervene. Mm -hmm. Just like the Bible says in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, yes. that if my people who are called by my name mm. will humble themselves yes. and pray, seek my face, mm. turn away from their wicked ways, yes, yes. God promises, He say, I will hear from heaven. Not only heal, He will hear, He will answer our prayer, and then He will heal our land. Mm. So connecting it to coronavirus, that God will heal Nigeria. And not only Nigeria, but the heal the entire world. world. Okay. Of if my people will humble themselves yes, and pray, and pray, okay. seek His face, face okay. turn away their evil ways okay. from their wicked ways. Okay. He said, then, so you can see those conditions. Conditions. So okay. it calls for self-examination. Where are we coming from? 
how did this thing emanate it? And then what must we do to ensure that we nip it on board? Okay, that's what Imam. Yes. Your opinion, what do you feel <laughs> yes. as an Imam, as a chairman, what happens? Yes, to coronavirus is real hmm. and uh, it is global now, pandemic. Uh, I don't think anyone will doubt that one. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, uh, some the, people are saying it's phantom. Which means well, whether, uh -huh. whether they claim or no, the reality <laughs> is that it's now real. It is. Uh, forget about other opinions that actually they may not be ideal mm. as regard to what is happening. Mm. Uh, well, uh, as a student of the Quran, mm -hmm. there is nothing that will come on us today which Quran will not have a say. Mm. It's either you know it. Or you don't, don't know, know it. God has tempted prophets before us hmm. in a different manner, different ways, and it includes also sickness, like and maybe are you Alice Lattos, Job. Was so mm. sick. Job. Is so Job. sick. Yes, Job is called Job. It's not. Mm. It's not that he has he has actually done wrong much, no. but Allah want to show him and to show all until then we are reading it, mm -hmm. so that we should know our limitations. And in the Quran, in Baqarah, that is chapter 2 of the Quran, Allah says, لَنَبُلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوءِ وَنَكَسٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ أَلَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْتُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُتَدُونَ Now, this verse is, Allah says, I'm going to tempt you and try you on earth. And that's why the whole world, whosoever is in this world, is in a world of trial. The only thing is that the trial will differ from one area to, to other. another, from one person to another. Mm -hmm. Those who are rich are on trial, mm -hmm. whether to give the wealth or to accumulate it and die and leave it. Those who are poor are on trial, either to accept destiny or they go into criminality and they die in poverty. Mm -hmm. So the, anything you see, whether you are handsome, whether you are ugly, whether you, all is a form of trial on us. And that's why Allah categorized some of the major trials. He says, I'm going to try you mm. with fear. Mm. And uh, coronavirus has put fear in everyone. Now, God is even if, mm. if, if you give visa <laughs> to pastors and imams, to to China. China. <laughs> to China. Go to. it is only you who will try to go in. No, maybe, will like maybe. <laughs> won't you go? I will never go. Go to go to go to go. I will run away from the visa. <laughs> maybe you Take the, the visa and keep it. No, 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 no. They're giving you plenty of money to go and get it. You, you will never go there. With all the money you will have, they will never go there. You see? And in in Sharia, fact, that aircraft are even flying empty. You day. see? Empty. Pleading with people. Yes. Look, uh, when the mom and pastor they are not given, go, then given, we go? Go given go discounts to people. Yes, even security personnel are not going. No, that one is understandable. So, but if the moms and pastors say they can't go. So it's a trial. Allah said, I'm going to hmm. try with that. So okay. it's not a new thing. Fear. Mm -hmm. Now, some, well, somebody was telling me that when they saw uh, a, a, a person who actually is from a country that this thing is heavily affected, they run away from him, <laughs> even in this country. That's, that's stigmatization. Well, of course, which is wrong. Even, but then, even if you are not contacted, but then you think that you are coming from that axis. I think it's unconscious. You see, it's, 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 uh, it, it, it comes instantaneously. I don't think you can blame them. So, so, so you, you, you see what Allah said, that I'm going to try with fear. Al Khauf, mm -hmm. well Jew, mm -hmm. and also hunger. Now, some people with this coronavirus are in hunger. Seriously. Because they cannot come out of the house. Yes, they and nobody can come time. to them. You see it? Well Jew. It's pathetic. Yes, and then uh, loss of uh, actually harvest mm -hmm. or your farm. Mm -hmm. And then actually loss of uh, uh, actually wealth. Mm -hmm. Today, materials actually are really lost in the mm -hmm. whole world. The economy of the world is going down because of corona. Mm -hmm. Even we in Nigeria, we need to review, as they are saying, our budget. Because of coronavirus mm -hmm. and also with death, these are the five things that God mentioned, and all are combined in coronavirus. So many people have died because of this. So to me, man should understand and know his limits. If God allow you to survive, please be thankful to Him in mm. all conditions. Mm. And with this condition, also Nigerians should be grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala because the casualty in them is limited. It's not much compared to other places. Mm. So the best we could do, mm. as far as the teaching of religion is concerned, is that we should continue to be repenting. Because it may be as a result of our sinning. It may not be a particular person. But when you look at us, the generality of yeah. us, things have changed today. 
-hmm. there is no trust mm -hmm. there is no obedience there is no respect there is no honor there is no people Nothing. are pressing people are killing so this can be a trial for us to go back and clean our files and be ideal and that can be achieved by repentance and Allah says okay. in Baqarah mm -hmm. chapter 2 of the Quran verses 184 mm -hmm. Allah says mm -hmm. And this is to what exactly the, to, to confirm. Mm -hmm. Please translate it. Uh, I will, I will give translation and then stop there. <laughs> he said, "If my servants ask you of me, mm -hmm. and this is people coming to Prophet Muhammad so. sallallahu alaihi wasallam asking of God, is God far or close so that when we call him, we raise our voices or we talk to him silently? Mm -hmm. No matter the way you use God, will hear you. Mm -hmm. Then Allah says, let them call me directly. I will answer all of them." Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm very close to them. I will that's answer that. Chronicles 7, 14. You see? But the condition here is that for the Sajib will be that you answer my call too. Conditional like that's the same thing. I spell out about four issues. Yes. There. No, 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 I want you to learn. So because, that you be, I want us to compare. Because mm -hmm. today people are calling God. They're not answering the call of God too. Somebody kidnapping. I was told by a brother kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we prayed for him in our mosque while he was kidnapped. Mm -hmm. So when he came back, he was told of the effort of the mosque. Then he came to thank the imam. Mm -hmm. While he was doing that, I asked him, tell me about those who kidnapped He said, the leader of the kidnappers is the one leading us in prayers. Hey. <laughs> he recited beautiful verses I cannot recite. I Just said, why don't you refuse following him to pray? I said, who am I? <laughs> they will kill me there. <laughs> I was joking, of course. I was saying that even yeah. I'm, I shouldn't be a victim, <laughs> but maybe I could have been the first person to be behind him because he will oh kill God. you, really. So it means here that people are not answering the call of God. Mm. Why should you pray and be imam and then you are a leader of kidnappers? Mm. And you want God to answer your prayer. So Allah says we should answer his own mm. by being his servants mm. and then abiding with the rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Well, you may not be. They must believe sincerely in me that I have the ability, I have the power to deal with any one of you. Okay. As now, coronavirus... You know, I, I want to connect. Uh, please, which please, one do you want me to you, connect? Yeah. Let connect. him connect. Let, let him he made a very strong statement okay. that man needs to know his limit. Mm. You know, a, a very striking statement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at how we are today, the things we do, how we explore the world, it's like we don't know our limit. We but think we are actually competing with God. Yeah, as if you can do but what, God what can do. is happening mm -hmm. should pull us back to the thing to know that look, there's a greater being. Sir, going through the Bible, if coronavirus can shut down the world system the way we are, I say to those of us who are Christians that what about if Jesus appeared in the sky? What the Bible said will happen. When Jesus shall appear. Please, what did the Bible say? The Bible says, look, when he shall appear, the, 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 the sky will reset. It will literally fall up. People will see him. He will come in such a mighty way that even the kings and the princes, you know, will, 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 will be afraid. So, those who pierce him, they will see him. He will come back with his angels in his glory. So, but to also come back to Jesus the point, it's is only small to uh, coronavirus that, that has that is considering that us is, is shivering. shivering. That's what I'm saying. How much more when the King of Glory shall appear? Thank you. Now, you see, he, he also talked about um, mentioning. I may, I made reference earlier to the book of He's Second. To confirm what you have said earlier, on. okay, He's in not the book saying of anything new, which which is okay. But I but think I want, you the want summary. To mention something, please say it. Mm, Let's say. I just want to say we must learn to fear God. Good. We must learn to fear God. We must learn because God. Proverbs Proverbs one seven said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we must learn to fear God in all we do. You are the one who, Imam, please, yeah, because we have so many things to discuss. Yes, but I, I just, I just, 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 just two, <laughs> One sentence. Uh, two, two or three sentences. They're not, not long ones anyway. Okay. When the Reverend Father was mentioning the coming back of Isa, Jesus. Isa Jesus. Mm. we in Islam believe in Isa, Jesus Christ, and we believe his 
coming back, as far as our teaching is, come, is concerned, he's coming back to pray like the Muslims are praying. Okay. We will discuss that yeah. one. And so it's that. a big issue. Yeah. We will discuss so that means one. We agree he's Iman. coming back. Iman. Maybe the area of difference may be how will be? is going to yeah. come when he But what the Bible tells us about his coming back, he is coming back to rapture the church. Yes. Okay. To, so that is the era, maybe. <laughs> I think, but, but, I think, I think one thing has joined us together. Yes. I mean, the Christian and the Muslims, that yes. they too believe Jesus is coming back. Of course, we, we, we believe in Him too for emphasis. You say we believe in Him as a prophet of God. Uh, as an uh, Imam, whether we yeah. believe or we don't, yeah. we believe. Okay, yeah. we believe. <laughs> but one thing is certain: yeah. the Christian and the Muslim believe that Jesus is coming back. Of course. Now, as people who believe that Jesus is coming back, yes. what do we do to protect ourselves, our churches and mosques? And our community from this coronavirus. Ah, you are back to corona. <laughs> well, I, I think what, what we need to do is, I think we need more sensitization. Good, direct to the point. Yeah, because we, we don't have more time. Mm, we, we need more sensitization. Mm -hmm. And also, those of us that are religious leaders, mm -hmm. we also need to show example by, you know, by practicing what we preach. Okay. Besides sensitizing people, mm -hmm. you know, you demonstrate to people okay. to see, like this issue of hand washing, using a uh, uh, and sanitizer, and sanitizer okay. you know, and so on and so forth. And uh, also, we must ensure that where there's gathering, large people, we you know, we should gathering. ensure that places, the place is well ventilated. Okay. You know, and there are so many measures. We can also call on um, health professionals, okay. you know, to give seminars and teach our people mm -hmm. about health so that we'll be able to protect ourselves awesome. from this. Uh, Coronavirus. It will go a long way to help us. Yes, what you have said is uh, actually just to add to that, people must be conscious of God. Okay. Because. And one physical thing that we need to be doing. Of course, of mm. course, okay. of course. It's part of phys physical. Okay. Yes. Conscious of God. When people are criminals mm. and they insist in criminality, washing of hand cannot save them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we are talking I, I, about. I'm getting you. Yeah. I'm getting you. <laughs> so this area <laughs> is very critical. Mm -hmm. Now, when you wash your hand 20 times, mm -hmm. and you go and kill a soul, innocent, mm -hmm. you, you, was joke, you was joking. No, a bigger uh, coronavirus will come. Of course. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. number one, let's, the heart we have been discussing, mm -hmm. let it be let's clean. sanitize the heart. Mm -hmm. That's one. Because if you sanitize the heart, even if you are a victim, mm -hmm. in the heaven, mm -hmm. God will deliver you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, True. that is the biggest one. Secondly, as he has rightly said, sensitization must be there. Mm -hmm. Those whom God has blessed with the knowledge mm -hmm. of the cure, we should listen to them attentively. Okay. Because each and every person have area of specialization. Mm. Okay. So anything they will say, would they are even yet to say it now? Okay. We should make sure we inform our people okay. to strictly abide with it. Okay. And finally, mm -hmm. people should go seriously into prayers. Into prayers. Okay. You have mentioned it. That's why I didn't uh, disturb myself at that time. But there's one thing. Let's assume government declare that there shouldn't be gathering like in churches and mosques. How would you react to it? Will it be allowed if government says nobody should go to any gathering? Say all your congregational prayer, your mass, your every that should not be there. That everybody should stay at home. What would be your reaction? Briefly and directly. The, the question I would, I would even like to ask is that will they close down markets? They will do that too. If they, they suggest they want then to people will be dying home. They would, if there is need for them yeah, to, to close, close the market mm. to save our life, mm. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. it, it can be done. But, but, but what I just want to say is that um, to me, let's ensure that we, we employ more consciousness. Because, you see, if you are doing something and you are conscious of what you are doing, mm -hmm. And you know the implication of whatever you are doing, mm. either as a leader. If I know gathering people in, in, in large number, mm. you know, they may be susceptible to this coronavirus. Mm. I shouldn't do it as a leader. Thank you. And beside that, also, you know, like in church, you know, we administer communion. Yes. So to me, I advise that in churches, why can't we <laughs> use disposable uh, 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 elements, yeah, cups yeah. that uh, yeah. we, you don't have to yeah. create any scenario yeah, where Vatican, people can, Vatican, where can they, contact uh, corona, for, coronavirus. Yeah. So, to me, I think we can use disposable items on that. Okay. Mm. Uh, in Islamic teaching, mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad mm -hmm. has informed us if there is an issue of pandemic, okay. people who are affected mm -hmm. should not live where they are. 
to others who are not affected, and those who are not affected should never go to those who are affected. So it means if government shows that something is correct, it means we are yet to reach that level. But if the level has reached a level where by mm. the thing has worsened, we don't pray it will reach. Mm. People must abide with what the government will say because the government will never create what will be of inconvenience Good. to their followers. Mm -hmm. So we don't pray we have reached that level, so we will never reach it. Whatever governments declare based on information they have from professionals, yes. is allowed for That's what we have said. I, I want to also encourage that, besides even the declarations that are done on TV and what have you, yes. sir, how are our borders? You will ask him to ask. It's a very serious issue. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. What does ask him ask you? Because you we can ask you. Know, you, ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so, pray God will help us. So, it's not shutting down markets here and there. What will have for us, brothers? Yeah, just as so, but we are praying yes. that mm. God will help us. The way I'm very optimistic that the way God grant us the grace, both the government and everybody were able to oh, yeah. handle. In one word, in one word, pray for this country that God should protect us so that it will not reach that level. Just one My to prayer is that as God gave us the grace to handle Ebola and Ebola issue became thing of the past, similarly in no distant time, our story will change and coronavirus issue will be a thing of the past Amen. in Jesus' Amen. name. Ya Rabb, la taftina bi virus corona. Oh Allah, don't try us and don't tempt us with this corona virus in this part of the world and all other part of the world. Those who are affected, we pray God to give them early recoverance. Those who have gone, we pray God to sympathize with them in their groups. Amen. Yes, as Pastor said that as God help us to overcome Ebola and the mom also said that God should not test us with coronavirus. With us that will be the end of today's program and we thank you for this very inciting, very exciting, very educative, very informative uh, discussion we have from you. I hope when we call you, you will not be rejecting our call. When we are calling you that, <laughs> Pastor, uh, Reverend, are you coming back? Imam, I hope you are not going to off your food because <laughs> I am here. And I will never go to China now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will meet next time. My next time, you will meet next week. Say bye-bye. <laughs>